Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it was late last month that we had a new moon. That was a very fortunate new moon, speaking in supreme harmony with your modern ruling planet Uranus. I spoke all about it in last month's horoscope. Well, it is that energy that you are carrying into this month that is strong as you start this month and as we progress further in. However, once we move to the middle of the month, the energy is going to shift as energy has a tendency to do. And it is going to turn towards matters that have to do with self-esteem. It has to do with self-worth, matters that are also connected to finances as well. Whereas in the early part of the month, the energy is centered around uh, positive occurrences related to your relationship with financial institutions. Lots of people, lots of Aquarians rather, are going to experience the energy on that front where it's going to feel like a particularly generous time. But by the time we navigate to the middle of the month, the focus changes. It becomes about what you are earning and what you are spending. Now what is happening under this energy as well is that Neptune will stand across the sky from Mars. Now the perfection of this is happening right under the light of the full moon. The full moon is mighty close to Neptune as well. And of course the sun mighty close to Mars, which is only gonna add that much more emotion to this time. Now here's some things to remember. It can feel as if finances are not as secure or as stable as you would like. Don't worry about that. There actually is a lot of stability there. We are going to have a very strong Saturn in the sky at the same time. And Pluto, both of these planets, will be speaking in harmony with this full moon as well. So yes, it may feel uncertain. It may feel like very quickly for some, an expense may come up. Very quickly, it may feel as if you need to address a matter having to do with perhaps one source of income ending, another one uh, right around the horizon. It can feel as if you are looking at how happy you are with how you're making your money and really wanting to make a change. Regardless, know that there are changing tides at this time, which means your feelings are not necessarily going to be solid and stable moving forward. Your own feelings around a particular matter may change. And so what one minute may feel as if you don't want to go in a particular direction, the next moment you might be glad that life was leading you that way where it may feel like you wonder if there is gonna be enough, well, in the next moment, you may realize how abundant you actually are. So there is an energy of abundance, there is a spirit of abundance with you at this time. And when we have such strong financial energy, it does mean that the money you need is there. That is what you wanna hold on to. The money you need is there. It just means that you may have to act quickly. It, again, may mean that there are emotions very strong at this time but whatever comes up, you will address it beautifully and you will find your stability within. Now, speaking of Saturn, your ancient ruling planet, just four days after this full moon, Saturn will officially go direct, which means mid-month Saturn's energy is very strongly with us. It is Saturn's forward movement that's going to allow you to feel as if something within you is moving forward at this time as well. Something within you is growing more stable and certain and secure. It is at this time that you may find yourself inwardly understanding more deeply what's happening, whether or not you can articulate it. It's an intuitive understanding now, an intuitive momentum, an energetic momentum that starts to set in that encourages you to understand how it is that the right thing and the responsible thing and what's in front of you to do ultimately is gonna help you to feel like you're moving towards a more solid future for yourself. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, we're gonna have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in fellow air sign Libra. That is very encouraging to me. When we have important lunar energy in the same element as yours, it means that whatever happens, you're able to use it to your advantage in some way. This new moon will happen in a part of the sky for you that has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters as well are covered here. 
And it is going to be this new moon. The main characteristic is that it is standing across the sky from Chiron. So there is a sense of vulnerability with you at this time. If it is that you have to do any kind of important travel or you're looking into matters of immigration or citizenship, well, this is really a beginning, right? It's a new moon, so it has to do with a fresh start. But in the process, you may be asking yourself some deeper questions and realizing what it is that is actually required for you to take on this prospect. Now, it could be that you're thinking about going back to school, uh, whether it is educating in a school, like working there, or whether it is as a student. Now, regardless of your particular role, there is going to be an awareness of what's actually involved, what sacrifices may be involved as well. With Chiron involved, there may be a sense that you know if you go in this direction, if you learn something new, your healing may be there as well, and certainly it can be. If it is that you are already in one of these institutes of higher learning, it could be at this time that you're feeling especially vulnerable around your studies, questioning yourself. Again, it's a new moon, which means new prospects, new opportunities, and for some of you, that is going to mean change. It's going to mean wanting to change your major or change your direction in some way. Now, if it is that you are involved in a legal matter or considering taking on a legal matter, well, this is where you will likely be evaluating things, kind of like the pros and cons to figure out the best way forward for you. For others of you, this is going to be a time of clarity around political matters. And for others still, this is going to be the philosophies that guide your life. And it may be some sense of vulnerability that opens you up to a new way of understanding the world around you, perhaps through a specific spiritual tradition. Where it comes to matters of love, mid-month, it is going to be Venus that moves into this fellow Earth sign Libra as well, this part of the sky that has to do with knowing more of the world than you did before, and love can start to feel very international. But here's some things to remember with this energy. Uh, one is, while Venus is traveling through this part of the sky, this month in particular, Venus will be making interesting connections with other power players. Uh, yes, a harmonious connection with Jupiter that I love. However, some more challenging connections with Saturn and with Pluto. And both of these planets, Saturn and Pluto, are moving through the sign just before yours. What this tells me is that whatever's going on with you in love, there's a lot more happening underneath the surface, deep within you. At the same time though, there's a part of you that wants to feel enthusiastic, that wants to feel like you're able to see the very best. But at the same time, there may be your own fear that you hadn't acknowledged before coming forward now. If you are open to meeting someone new, well, look, under this energy, it is possible to have very strong attractions to another person, but a part of you is feeling like you're holding yourself back in some way. Now, don't judge it. That's the thing. We make things much harder on ourselves when we bring a sense of judgment to it. But rather, if it is that you can look at whatever you're feeling with a sense of love, with a sense of acceptance, well, then you might actually learn from it and you might actually take whatever attraction does come up and allow it to guide you to understanding not only where you are in love and why, but ultimately what it means for you to move towards greater love than you've known before. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, I feel like this could be a time when this person that you're just starting to date uh, reveal some things to you about what they believe, how they see the world. Uh, it could be their religious beliefs, it could be their philosophical beliefs, but there might be a part of you that isn't sure how you feel about it and you can't quite put your finger on why. Uh, a part of you may want to see the very best, which is amazing, right? That's a very good thing to hold on to. However, if it is that your intuition is saying that you know, I'm not really sure, is this gonna be a good approach for me? Is this gonna be a good person for me in the fullness of time? It's okay to acknowledge that. Now, you don't have to do anything that you don't wanna do. It's always up to you to decide what's right for you in light of your unique circumstances. I'm not saying that any of this is necessarily a deal breaker, but what I am saying is when you have a intuitive prompt, you might wanna look at that more deeply. For those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a powerful time where the two of you are wanting to make plans together, to take on some adventure together. However, there may be a quieter, more intuitive prompt playing out 
uh, that is telling you something about whether or not it's the right time, whether or not it's the right move for you to make. If it is that you do end up doing some traveling at this time, there may be a measure there of needing to take a more measured approach, uh, of needing to be mindful that not everything is necessarily as clear as you may like, and that you may need to pace yourself a little bit in terms of your expectations about what is possible. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily mean it's financial, that may be part of it, but another layer of it, another part of it may very well be linked to uh, a sense of what it is that feels right, even if you can't quite put your finger on it. Now, regardless, know that whatever plans the two of you want to make together, Plans can always be made. Adventures can always be taken on. And that's part of the fun at this time. I do also feel as I look at the sky, especially in the middle of the month with that connection between Neptune and Mars, uh, there might be a little bit of back and forth between you and your partner in terms of sharing. Now, whether that's emotional sharing, whether that's financial sharing, uh, there may be a need for some give and take. Um, in terms of how much you feel you're giving, if you feel that they're matching that giving or not. It may be that you want to be more generous with your partner or vice versa, and there's some mixed feelings around that as well. Now, regardless of what it is, you will navigate it well. And remember, whatever emotions come up at that full moon, it'll be just fine. There is more than enough of everything that you need to swimmingly and prosperously celebrate your lives together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I am gonna say I do love all that air energy starting to build. Now, ultimately, regardless of the different connections that are playing out, as more planets move into fellow air sign Libra, there is something within you that is going to feel as if you are more back in your element. And there's a sense of excitement now as to what is possible for you. And there's a desire now in some way and in your own corner to make the world yours. And it certainly can be. It may require more work and more energy than you anticipate as we start uh, the middle of the month in particular. And yet there is possibility. And yet there is the promise of great things, great adventures and great success to come. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.